Hello, love bugs. This has been a long time coming, but I think I finally reached a place with my main plot that I'm pretty proud of. So today's house tour is going to be of my house. <laughs> it's not finished, but I also think it's never going to be finished. It's just one of those things that as soon as they give us something new, I'm ready to change everything again, like I think so many of us are. However, I do feel really proud of some of the places in it, and rather than just beat myself up constantly about how much work I still have to do on it, I really wanted to show it off and give you all a little view into what I've been working on. So, welcome to my house plot. My character shares her house with gel. That is how it works inside my own brain and has a couple of different spaces on it. Let's first head off to the right, which I really love this little path that I've made. It just takes us out past some of the shrines that I have gotten just through a big old mess of trees underneath these beautiful pagodas. And I just think it's a lovely little walkway. This is my little uh got my little gazebo i almost said gondola <laughs> my little gazebo uh which is uh still set up all the way from my birthday which was in october but i do kind of think that what this is going to be is like an outdoor party space that i might change seasonally especially when fun new items come out i think it'll be fun to, to mix it up and turn it into something different for each season but for right now it is what it is. As we head back across my path, I'm going to take us off to the left side of my plot, which is my workshop. But along the way, I also originally when I was putting out putting my plot together, I thought that I was really going to block all the edges off and have some sort of fencing or trees lining the entire edges of my plot. But I also realized like how beautiful the mountains and the sky and thing look. And if I really did have a house out in the middle of nowhere with these beautiful forests and beautiful stars would i fence every single section of it off and no i don't think i would so i decided that this whole space here especially because i just love what it looks like would just be kind of open and open and welcoming you know <laughs> i have this little fountain idea that i put together here that i totally stole from april thank you april you're amazing this is beautiful uh, i also just decorated a couple of trees to make them look like you know they're special little trees i just i i like just putting some flowers around one of the bases it, it makes it look like something that somebody would do in their own house up here you are going to find my workshop now the idea i <sighs> First off, something you know about should know about me when I play games. I really like when I decorate to create a story uh, and really understand what my character is like. So in my mind, my character came to Pelia and truly became a furniture designer like Tish. And this is my kind of shop and studio. So the very front area is a spot where you can come for like a consultation. You can come and sit and wait here. Maybe sometimes gel or one of my other various uh, partners uh, maybe sits here and mans the desk and knows when someone is coming to pick up an order or of something that I have custom designed them. Back here, I have some of my supplies, maybe even some orders packed away. Through here is where I would maybe invite you to come in and look at different designs that I've come up with, uh, see kind of what it is that I am thinking about doing for your item that you are looking for, and that you could see like progress from what I'm working on. Because here's my little like workbench and my awesome little set of tools. And then back here, it this works obviously as a place for me to keep all of my supplies constantly crafting, but also makes sense as like a workshop that this is where I am putting all of my supplies and things as well. So uh, that's my little workshop. And I, I really like it. A couple of my favorite features are just like, honestly, these little windows here. I love the mix of the industrial stuff uh, mixed in with all of the furniture stuff. I think it just makes sense. I think a lot of us have done that. Uh, but using these little shelves as like windowsills, I just really like it i also like using um the industrial shelves the paltech shelves excuse me um as kind of like uh like flipped upside down and in different ways that you can get pretty creative with them and here i kind of just turned them into kind of an abstract light fixture <laughs> it's a little wonky but i love it and i love the way that it pours light over the workshop with the lanterns i just think it looks really good so as we head back out aside we're going to head back to the front of my plot and walk up through my gate which is up to my main house there's also a little extra entrance way over here that i built taking us over to the fountain with a spot to sit and enjoy uh enjoy the space out there i also have my my four sill uh just chilling here they're so cute they are actually going to be used though for a 
plan that I have for a different plot. So I need like 30 still. So um, keep them coming. <laughs> but anyway, this is my main entrance. We have uh, some little flower beds here off the side. Again, a little sitting area with a little banjo. Um, I really love the autumn uh, colors and stuff. I love copper. It's like my favorite metal. Um, so I have had a, lot, had a lot of fun doing like decorations with kind of earthy tones and coppers. And then I've always really wanted a beautiful foyer. I just think a beautiful foyer in a home is just so wonderful. Um, a big grand kind of entrance and then a spot to actually store your stuff. I hope we eventually have like little shoe racks and things like that. I might eventually put a wardrobe out here. But for now, I just kind of did some fun decor. There is a mirror for you to check your look before you head on out the door. Um, but definitely this was just the grand entrance that I had wanted uh, in the game for so long. And especially once they gave us hallways uh, as not counting extra as extra rooms, it really allowed me to do what I wanted to do in my house. So right in here is again just part of like my grand entrance showing off some of my my big trophies a few of my plushies I only have one left to go <laughs> of my Cernuk plushies and then obviously my unicorn fish which really was a grand prize for me uh, I also have my the, I call these the twins my little Kilima rays here uh, the twins that like to greet us as we walk in over here I this is a harvest house that I actually flipped around which is how I was able to add the foyer and everything to it but I also think it makes a really beautiful beautiful like grand back uh back uh exit i guess to my house and gave me some spots to play with so right here i added a couple of shelves and turned this into a sitting space i imagine that gel and i sit here in the morning and have our breakfast just the two of us and look over our gardens and then over here is truly again i like to think about what my characters are doing and how they're using spaces so i think of this as like a dump zone for everything out in my garden so when i'm outside and i'm working i come in and i'm tired and i just throw my stuff down uh throw something up on a rack throw uh whatever seedlings i'm working on there um things just get kind of tossed on shelves all willy-nilly mixed in with like the kind of elegant pieces that i've put like my lanterns and whatnot because maybe originally i intended for this to be a very neat and classy space but now it's just become like a hubbub mess kind of like my my real life yeah. <laughs> so anyway, in here, move on into the kitchen. I have a, a kind of informal dining space is what I like to think of this as. This is like when just the close friends come over or when we're having dinner, uh, maybe somebody is coming over to visit us. We sit here and have uh, a nice little meal, but it's not as formal. And then uh, obviously this is my kitchen space with my lovely little coffee maker. I did want the kitchen to feel functional so I can have um, friends over from the community and be able to do functional um, food parties for flow. So while we don't do cake parties and things here, we do uh, tons of flow parties, uh, flow food parties where we just make some food uh, to take with us on the road. Um, and I really do hope uh, definitely working on my quick kitchen was one of the more frustrating things to do. And I think we can all kind of agree. It's just frustrating that so many of the functional pieces have to look the way that they do. They really don't match my style. And I kind of had to adjust my space to match the style of the functional pieces instead of getting to just make it look the way that I aesthetically want it to look. So, uh, but anyway, heading off of the back here, I really, originally I had just a hallway space here as like a little pantry and I decided I really wanted to blow it out and have a big storage pantry space with just lots and lots of storage. And while I do want to add some more to these shelves and figure out exactly what else I want to put here. Um, I am really happy with kind of how it is turned out. It does kind of look like a preserve kind of space where I am storing all of my food and spices and things. This even looks kind of like a freezer box where I'm keeping things that need to be cold. Uh, and then back in here, the idea of this space is that this is more where I leave food to dry. This is where I'm picking my herbs and things from my from my personal garden and putting them to dry, pulling things, maybe pulling in plants um, that seasonally need to be inside instead of outside and kind of more as like a drying room where this is more my storage. And and then I decided a fun way to use some of the space around my house would be by creating an additional garden, but it's meant to be like my personal garden. So while I have my big garden that is more for like selling food, and I think of it as like my little farm, another way to make money outside of my furniture uh, business that my character has, this is more stuff that I grow for myself and gel. So like gel and I come out here and this is 
the gardens that we work on for our own things, whether it's, it's something that we're experimenting with or it's just, you know, growing things for our own consumption and for our own food. That's the idea behind this little side garden here, which we have like a little spot to wash our hands and just to work on it. So it's like our own little like hobby garden, but we don't sell any of this. This is just our personal food and herbs and things for alchemy which also you'll see our alchemy room here shortly so again when friends are coming over we love to entertain so we do have a bar which i really really love i think it works really well in this kind of sized room too just having this bar on the side and then a trophy a wall on the other wall showing off all of my trophies which i think i have a couple that aren't up there that i need to get up there uh this was a really fun space to have i actually built this originally when i was doing like my holiday house and having some of our community over for like a holiday dinner uh and it was really fun converting it into something that would really work for my house all the time and then this is my new kind of hodgepodge formal dining room i decided to go really wild with it and go very full of plants kind of overstuffed uh, kind of hoarder level uh, with mis mix matched furniture, but that I think all kind of comes together with the different colors that I used. Uh, it's a little wild. It's a little crazy, but I honestly love it. It's one of my favorite spaces now in my house. Uh, and I really did want it to feel like I brought the outside in. So there's a couple of things that I added in to do that, which is a, a trellis inside and some of the flowers inside. So if you didn't know that you could actually put these in your house, you can, uh, which definitely opens up some other possibilities like how I used it here. And then I attached my courtyard to my bay window where with my rainbow butterfly uh, there um, so that it kind of can this bay window kind of continues um, a little view out into my little mystical courtyard, which isn't finished yet, but we'll get there. Um, <laughs> uh, and I really liked that I could add it um, onto a, a, a window with a bay window and not have it opened up to the elements so I can see it from this space, but it is kind of its own private separate space outside. Uh, I introduced some plants, um, some of the flowers into this space as well. I just really wanted it to feel earthy and naturey, And like every time you walk in here, you see something new that you haven't seen before. So then again, like I said, we love to entertain. So this next space is our guest suite. I did some gallery walls here, uh, which I really liked. I wanted to do this somewhere in the house. And I realized that using one of the hallways for it was kind of perfect. And then this is a guest suite. So we have a lovely mirror right here. And then this, this, I don't know, I say like a lot of the rooms are my favorite rooms in the house, but this is really one of my favorite rooms in the house. I love the display back there. Uh, and the idea that you have kind of like in a hotel, you have like this lovely jacuzzi and like the same space that your room is in. I imagine that this plushie gets set out for friends as like a sweet little thing for them to see, like representing our friendship when they come and stay. Um, I love layering these mirrors. I think they look so good, especially when you change the colors, so like a little vanity for someone to sit at. And then a private little bathroom space so that your like toilet and sink are kind of in a separate space from where you sleep, uh, but that it, it does feel very much like a suite. And see some of my trophies are in here too, which might eventually change once we have more clutter. Um, but just as kind of like, you know, some Thing to show off in the guest suite so i love the colors in here i think it feels a little bit more elegant and i just i just really love it and <laughs> it's one of my favorite spaces in the whole house so as we walk back through we're going to go back to our main space here and you know what we're going to go outside first so if we walk out the back of my house i have a little fountain display here i'd wanted to do something like this with a fountain for a while and i saw some inspiration from maybe so shout out to maybe uh who had done a big beautiful flower uh surrounding a flower design surrounding um their fountain and i i definitely took inspiration from that so thank you for that inspiration um i also wanted a place for looking at the stars originally i wanted my my stargazing space was going to be in my courtyard, but I decided that I didn't like it in there. It looked like the telescope really couldn't see out of the courtyard and it, it just, it, it was, I wasn't feeling it. So I decided to just make it off the back of my plot, which also kind of allows for this to feel like the exit off the back of my plot as well, because it leaves it kind of open. But there's also something for us to look at, which is the beautiful stars. Uh, if we head out over onto this side, 
uh, I decided to make just kind of a, a lovely little sitting space. Like I imagine friends coming over here and wanting to just enjoy the outdoors and enjoy all my flowers. And this is kind of a fancier place that I would maybe take, uh, maybe take somebody for even a meeting or something. I could see myself entertaining a client out here. And it's a little bit of a, a fancy sitting space. And then as we head over here, we have my garden, which I am so proud of. These are, I constantly get asked about what these are on the floor and what I'm using for trim. And these are butcher blocks from the gourmet set. I love them. I think it looks so, so, so good. Um, I love the colors that I use and how they tie in with the rest of the colors for my house. I, I just love, love, love my garden. I do not do gardening in the game to make the most possible money and do all of that while I do think it is the best money maker in the game. And I know that I probably should change my garden a bit to make it a little more efficient. I do it more for the aesthetic, I like having the apples here at the entrance. I just think that they're pretty. I like having bush, blueberry bushes here. And so it's a little bit more of um, a, ch a choice uh, for aesthetics instead of like uh, metagaming, I guess you could say. I also knew the second that I saw these lanterns. But they absolutely had to go in my garden. And like I said, I love the pathing, even though we know that pathing is coming to the game and coming very, very shortly. And I'm really excited to see all the different kinds of pathing that there are. I do not see myself changing my garden. I will probably add pathing in different spaces like through here, but I will not be changing my garden. I love how this looks. This is this is like one of the only places in in my whole house that I don't ever really see changing. I even love like the colors right here with the ivy wall. I love this little sitting space with like the marker for the like the spot for the, the bug getting the bugs off of us i imagine this is kind of like the spot that i sit and wait for things to be completed uh in my seed makers and and whatnot and have a cup of a cup of uh, lemonade or something while i'm waiting for things to finish growing so i can get more work done and i just love it this is also the only way that you can go to actually get into my courtyard i do imagine i'll eventually put some of the pathing down over here maybe add some more trees but i have decided i want this to be a very like magical mythical courtyard that features the gardener as well as this beautiful tree um i definitely want it to feel kind of witchy and magical maybe even like a witchy magical garden hidden back here so i might get more of like those mushroom planters from ashura maybe plant some of the more um let's say alien looking uh flowers that we have back here and make this feel kind of like a magical spot that maybe i come and like work on spells or something i don't know but i i do i i i i'm figuring out my courtyard still so like i said not completely finished on my plot yet but i'm just i've, I've come so far i can't not share it anyway let's continue through on my house tour now we come into my living room space a lovely little space to sit and enjoy the fire and just spend time with friends and family um, it took me literally forever to get this amethyst so it is very proudly displayed and uh, obviously some of my cool fish as well and one of my very few plushies because Zeki's machine hates me and then this is eventually going to be a library once we eventually have books like you know they're coming there's no way they can't eventually give us books even if what they do is just give us shelves full of books this is going to be a library space but for now now I've decided to turn it into my treasure room because I'm hoarding starred gemstones um, like a dragon. I absolutely love hitting rocks in the game. It is one of the things that soothes me. And so I figured a treasure room makes sense. But this little spot out here is supposed to be like a reading nook, like someplace that I sit and either listen to music or read a book and relax, which is why it would make sense that this will eventually be a library. Now, this this might be my actual favorite room out of all of the rooms in my house. And this is my new like alchemy room. So the idea is that on my journeys, going around looking at gemstones, gardening, finding different kinds of woods to use for furniture and everything. I've also discovered um, and, you know, maybe through the help of Tamala um, that some of the things in this world have kind of magical properties. So now I'm experimenting a bit. So I sit here and think about what I have found and take notes. I have my little microscope set up over here to actually look through things and see what different plants do, what different bugs do. I've got my spices up there of powders that I have made for different experiments. And so while furniture making is like kind of my job and gardening is also a way that I take in money and farming, 
this is my hobby. And that's how I figure my paleo character is. Look, I might be a little weird that I'm so specific about what my character likes to do, but this is my hobby. And I assume that sometimes gel helps me out with it. Tamala sometimes comes over and teaches us things and also takes an information of stuff that we've discovered. And I just love that idea. And I love this room. This now we're walking into mine and gel's bedroom suite. This is our actual bedroom. Yes, it is covered in plushies. My life um, will always be covered in plushies. Um, in real life, I sleep with stuffed animals. I don't care that I'm a grown adult. I love them. They're cuddly and soft, uh, as well as a vanity to do makeup, um, a couple cute little fishies in the room as well. This is my little private space, private shrine to all of my, you know, best friends, my, my best friends. It's not creepy at all. Don't you have pictures in a little private room with a curtain of all your besties? Come on, you know you do. <laughs> and then down here is our bathroom. Uh, lovely little uh, his and her sinks going on over here. As well as our lovely tub with another fish. <laughs> and then I'm just a big fan of a toilet in a separate space. I really like in real life and also in gaming having uh, the actual toilet away from where you wash yourself and clean yourself. It just it just makes me feel better. What I wouldn't give to live in a house in real life where my toilet has its own separate closet. I don't, I don't have that luxury anymore. Is that too much information? I don't know. Well, here we are. Anyway... <laughs> This is my private um, backyard space uh, to spend with gel. Back here, we have our lovely little deck. And then you can we go down and have a lovely a hot tub to have a nice little hot tub time together. Uh, and then we also have a little garden space over here. What I imagine this is, is a little rose garden that we tend together. Uh, maybe this is gel's hobby. Gel likes to maybe incorporate flowers and um, different like flowers into clothing designs but also to use the different petals and things to make different inks and whatnot and that so that's how that works in my brain so sometimes we grow different flowers so that he can experiment as well and then if we continue down this path over here it comes to a different private space which is also my private little hidden space that I have with my boyfriend Hadari so yeah well gel might be the main squeeze Gel might be the main partner living in the home with me. Uh, Hadari is also very close to my heart. And we have a, a place to have some privacy as well back here off the back of the house. I love this space. It was so fun designing it. I even left a little hole here uh, where this path is to make it feel like this is the spot that he walks uh, to come and see me. And he comes in over here instead of having to come through the main house. We sit back here and we play chess together and different games. He tells me about his day. He brings things that he's foraged and maybe sometimes has different gemstones and things stacked up over here, cooks a delicious meal for us. We even have a little private outhouse for a little spot to privately use the potty <laughs> and and then in here we have our tent where we like to spend time together we can turn on the heat when it's a cool night we also have a lovely tub to take a tubby in and our cozy bed so yeah just a space to hang out specifically with my other main boyfriend um hadari maybe gel's like my I don't want to say that we're like married, but maybe like my fiance, like it's definitely like a different, a step up. I, I, I don't know, but th th that's how it all works out in my head anyway. <laughs> so anyway, thank you so much for coming with me on this little tour of my house. I hope you like what I have designed and I hope that you saw some things that inspired you. I am constantly, constantly inspired by all of you and the amazing things that you come up with in this game and the ways that you decorate and put things together. So let me know what your favorite thing was, but also let me know what your favorite thing is that you've designed and I hope to see it one day. I love you. Bye.